came right here. This was a, it was an up and down game. It was a yeah. roller coaster of a game, and it was a roller coaster of emotions. I mean, in the first half, the defense you thought they had Dalvin Cook bottled up. I think we had the solution for Kirk Cousins. Yeah. Then the second half comes out. Kirk Cousins goes out there and he's dealing to every receiver. Thielen was killing us. Cook was running the ball down our throats. But at the end of the day, uh, we made the more plays that we, than they did, and we ended up getting a W. Congratulations to the Cowboys. Let's see if we can keep this momentum going. And I think the best play to start or best place to start here is with the quarterbacks. And we talked about Kirk Cousins. You mentioned him a moment ago. And of course, he had a fantastic game whenever it came to his battle with the Cowboys. He's now two and seven career wise, but this was his best game against Dallas statistically in his career. But also Andy Dalton. I mean, this is a guy you needed to come in and manage the game, find a way to get it to your playmakers. And ultimately, Isaiah, that's exactly what he did. Absolutely. I mean, the, the Red Rifle came out here and took care of business. I know there's a lot of question marks about the decision to go with him um, over Gilmore, and I think he really kind of solidified the decision by the coaches. He reinstilled confidence um, into himself, to fans, and everybody else that might have had questions regarding him. But he came out here, he managed the game. That's what my expectation of, what, of him was this week. He came out, he managed the game very well. Again, he had one turnover, but aside from that, you know, the, the run game gave him an opportunity to get these guys to rock. The offensive line did a good job blocking for them when he did. When he did have the escape, he escaped. He found some uh, found some holes for him to be able to deliver the ball. He made good decisions throwing the ball away when he needed to. He played a good game. He managed it. Got the dub. 22 for 32, about 203 yards, three TDs, one interception. I'm with you that he managed the game well. I mean, because I was the I was on the Gilbert train. I was looking for <laughs> momentum, but he came out and showed uh, that hey. He's the veteran. He's the guy that can keep things calm, get it to the right players. C.D. Lamb showed out a little bit today. Mari Cooper coming up big. Gallup being who he is. And Zeke, my friend, 100 yards rushing on 21 carries. For you haters out there, Zeke, baby, okay? Uh, yeah, it's looking like the Cowboys made the right decision as, a, as the quarterbacks go. I mean, um, I was with you on that Gilbert train. I thought for sure he was going to be able to ride this momentum into this game. But um, Andy Dalton, he played well. I mean, it was an up-and-down game for sure. He was a little bit off in the first quarter, uh, the second quarter as well. But that second half, I mean, he lit on fire. I mean, he was putting the ball right where only his receivers can catch it. And hats goes off to the receivers. I mean, they were making – some great 50-50 catches out there, especially towards yes. the end of the game. I mean, they, they prolonged drives out there, so the passing attack did us well. You're right, Freaky Ziki got over 100, yeah. and we, we usually win when he does that. He so He got did. He got his big name back. <laughs> so hopefully, like <laughs> I said earlier. He's freaky, but he's Ziki. <laughs> he's Ziki. Let's keep this momentum going. And kind of going off of what you said a moment ago, whenever it comes to Zeke having the 100 yards, and also Andy Dalton kind of finding a little bit of a rhythm in that first half so that his second half was much better. But you got to credit the offensive line. They made the adjustments, played a little bit of musical chairs, threw Zach Martin out the right tackle. And, guys, it looked like the right move there as well. Yeah, Philbin, I mean, you guys hear Nate, you know, glorify him all the time. Philbin did a heck of a job positioning this offense to be successful, and it starts with the boys up front. If the offensive line is not playing the way they need to, this team's not going to run the ball, they're not going to throw the ball. And you saw we were able to get 100 yards rushing out of our franchise running back again, which lets you know that these guys are taking care of business up there. And then also, they gave Andy Dalton a chance, right? The, the last few times he showed up on the field, they didn't have, have, give him an opportunity to throw the ball with confidence. He was able to sit back there, deliver the ball to receivers, and allow his receivers to start gaining that confidence with their new leader at the, at the helm. You know what, man? To, to Connor McGovern, Connor Williams, our big loony, uh, uh, Irvin at the left, and our all-pro guard at the right tackle and Zach Martin, they did a masterful job. We was able to get Zeke all over the field. We was able to get Tony Pollard all over the field. They just went dominant one side mm -hmm. with the better players over there. They went everywhere all over the field. I want to say, Kellen Moore, boy, I'm hard on you and I'm going to stay hard on you. You called the right game today, my friend. And it kept Zeke and Tony Pollard involved and the defense played well enough to keep it close. And, boy, I love this game. You're right, man. Kellen Moore, he, he, he called an excellent game out there. He kept this Minnesota team on their toes pretty much the whole entire game. And look, I got to give kudos to Zach Martin because, like you said, he moved from guard to tackle. And that is an extremely hard transition. At the tackle spot, you got so much space, so much speed coming at you. And he was able to hold his own out there. It just goes to show you how great of a player he is. And like you guys all said, that offensive line, they showed up. They gave Andy Dalton time. They gave holes for Pollard and uh, Zeke to do what they have to do. Overall, it was a good team victory.
And let's flip it to the other side of the football. Let's go defensively here. Of course, the numbers don't look great. 430 yards given up. He gave up 314 through the air to Kirk Cousins. But ultimately, the defense still brought a little bit of that fire, most notably Donovan Wilson. I mean, oh my goodness, what a play he made in the first quarter. Then he made another one later on in the game to force a couple of turnovers. What did you guys think of the defense overall, and was it something you can continue to build on? Overall, not not very pleased with the, with the defense. <laughs> I'm just gonna call it how it is. Um, not very pleased with them at all. Um, but uh, to your point, Kyle, they, they came out with the fire, right? They came out with some energy. They came out with some heart. You were able to see that, even though they were they were Minnesota was able to establish a running game, even though Adam Thielen went off, even though Jefferson was able to win his one on one battles. You know, these guys kept coming back, and we talked about that in the pregame show. Don't play the highs. Don't play the lows. Try to stay even. And there's going to be good plays that they make. There's going to be bad plays that you make. But no matter what, come back to fight again. And they did that. <laughs> you know you know what I like about these guys, man? For the first time in a long time, we made one more play than they did. Yeah. And we saw where Demarcus Lawrence got enough for a sack. Well, uh, Donovan came in there and blowed the guy up, man. They were just making plays. Uh, Jalen Smith was making a few plays. So I'm, I'm excited, man. When I see these guys, when the front four does their job, it's a little easier on the back end. But you guys, both of you guys talked about being consistent. They played hard. They played smart. And they lined up. And at the end of the game, they made that one better play to give it back to the offense so they can do what they need to do. Yeah, I think overall uh, the defense, they didn't play as well as we would like them to play. They gave up a little bit too much rushing, and we know what happened through the pass. I mean, the, the secondary looked kind of awful as far as uh, Kirk Cousins was concerned. I think he only missed five passes out there overall. So they're definitely going to have to get better um, in the secondary. But I was impressed with what I seen from uh, Donovan Wilson out there. I mean, he looked like a young Roy Williams out there, the way he was laying the wood on these guys, creating turnovers, something that we haven't seen from this defense all year. So hopefully, like I said in the pregame, they can build on this momentum and build on this game against Minnesota. Minnesota, and we'll see what we can do with this NFC East. Mm. Really quickly before we wrap things up here, sticking with the defense, and you mentioned kind of some of the problems that we had seen in the secondary. Is the secondary the number one concern moving in to the Thanksgiving matchup with Washington? The fact that really there were a couple times where they were absolutely exposed? I, w I would have to say yes. Um, I'm concerned about our, about our secondary simply because we, we, that's, that's the easiest chance for a team to get a big play. Right, our front seven is starting to play better. Our front four is playing really well, <clears throat> but on the back end, that's where we're struggling, right? Because in, in zone, we can't play too much too high zone because it gives an advantage to the offense to run the ball. So we try to roll to a single safety, and then we our guys personnel wise just aren't matching up and playing good well enough man to man coverage in order to be able to handle these guys. So um, I'm concerned there. Hopefully, we can improve there sooner than later because we're going to need them there on this on the second half of the, of the season. I promise you, as our front four get better, being our front seven, including our linebackers, if we play smart and we play hard and we fill our gaps and we take away that run game, things will be much easier because then you can fall everything back on your coverage. You can put everything on your coverage then and let them front seven rock and roll. So I, I see them growing. It was Philadelphia. It was Pittsburgh. It was a great running game today. And we, we talked about the roller coaster. Mm -hmm. They held in there. Yep. And if they, as they, if they mature and